So now we're going to shade our character. If we go into our drawing tab, we can isolate our line art layer, press K to show strokes, and then use our stroke tool and add shadows this way. And then just fill it in using our shade color, which is a transparent kind of cooler color. And that's one way you could do that is by sort of the same way we did the ear is just by going through all the keys, then copying and pasting these strokes and then filling it in. That's definitely a good way to do it. You could also duplicate this layer so that it has the same timing and everything. Move it on top, call it cat shade, and then you want to unpaint and select all frames. And then just unpaint the whole entire animation. And you want to make sure to do it on the color layer too. So now you can take this shade layer, grab your paintbrush, and with a semi-transparent color like our shadow, I usually like to have the auto flatten turned on, because if I don't have that turned on, if I draw two strokes on top of each other, they kind of overlap. And that's because they're two separate strokes. And what auto flatten does is it'll combine all these strokes into one shape. So when you're shading your character, that way if you go over some shadows and do some overlapping, it won't make this weird effect. 